Hello everyone and welcome back to Zachary Educational Channel. So in this video, we are going to know the basics of three important environmental ethics definition, the three types of environmental ethics which are frequently asked in the environmental science entrances. So be it UGC net examination, CPCB or any other examination, these important basic things you should know because they can be asked in the MCQ form, in the match the following or any other form. So without much delay, let's start today's video three important term you should know because they are very frequently asked first is anthropocentrism biocentrism ecocentrism yes these three are the important environmental ethics you will know first of all you should know what is centrism centric means it is revolving around a certain idea or view and the other terms which is associated with that term that is centrism will give us the idea about that environmental ethics First thing is anthropocentrism. Anthropology, we know. So, anthropo means where it is related to the humans. When it is center thing, that is the central position is given to the humans. So, it is the idea, I will tell you, you should note down, that the earth and its resources exist for the human consumption. Yes, according to this ethics, all the resources on the earth, it is only for the human being consumption. People who hold this view believe that it is to protect the earth for our future generation. They are not telling that you should protect our earth and it should be flourished. They are telling that for human consumption, human centrism means humans are more important and they need to be given more priority. So anthropocentrism is the position that humans are the most important or critical element in any given situation that the human race must always be its own primary concern. So you should not think about any other animals, biodiversity, earth, planet. Every time the focus must be given on the humans only. So whether it is correct or not that you will decide but this is a kind of environmental ethics that is anthropocentrism. Coming to the next thing that is the biocentrism. Biocentrism means what? Bio means living organism, you all know bios means life. So here biocentrism what it views? It views that animals as important beings. So here they are not considering humans as important. They are considering animals as important beings and stereotypically the biocentrics are against harming other life forms for their own ends. So these people who are following this biocentrism ethics, they don't want to harm other living forms. And most of the biocentric people, they are vegetarian because they don't want to kill or harm any other life form. So for them, most important beings are animals. But for anthropocentrism, most important the humans. So that is the basic difference between anthropocentrism and biocentrism. Both we can say are opposite. Next coming to the third and important thing that is ecocentrism. Eco means ecology or ecosystem you can say and it is telling that humans are only one part of the complicated system of the earth that is they are only a part of the earth. They are not that all the idea, all the help will be given to the humans only or all the idea or all the importance should be given to the animals only. So ecocentrism believes that everything has intrinsic value and emphasize the interconnectedness of all life. So ecosystem all are interconnected and that's why all should be given the value and humans are only one part of the complicated system that is the earth. So they are not giving the most important to the humans neither to the animals. So they are telling all are interconnected. So that is the main function or the main belief of the ecocentrism, ecocentrism kind of environmental ethics. So it is the midway between the anthropocentrism which is focusing on humans only or biocentrism that is focusing on animals only. So I hope you have noted down all these things. So that's all for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe the channel to get all further updates and prepare for your upcoming examination. See you guys in our next video. Till then keep smiling and believe in yourself.